Hi there, my name is Marcy, and I was speaking with Julia, and she said that this was the best email to send off this video to. Uh, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to keep it short, but I'm going to show you guys three things that you could do today to start bringing in more business to your company. The three things that I'll talk about are content, backlinks, and citations. So to begin with content, what I mean by content is the information that you've got showing on the home page of your website, the pictures, the, the words. So Google likes to see anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 words of content on the home page. And um, just like, just very commonly, um, not very many websites have that much, but it, it, it plays a huge factor in ranking purposes, in being, um, you know, hopefully on the first page. That's the best case scenario. Um, I'm just going to take a look at these. They don't let me see what they are. Um, the pictures can be named also to to show Google what it is that, that, that you do. So with the content, you know, somebody puts the search, the search term that I use today, for our example, is window coverings. And um, when somebody types this in, Google's going to go out, they're going to crawl the web, and they're going to look for the most relevant results. So it's that content that helps them to, to, to decide, is that you? Um, if they have one site and it has very little content, and then the next site to it does have the, you know, 1,000 to 1,500 words, they're going to look at the one with the 1,000 words as being the expert in the market. And it's going to play a, uh, play a big part in them being listed higher in, in the search than the others. So um, it's not the only factor, but it is definitely plays a big role in it. So if you guys wanted to get your site pushed up a little further, then um, you could definitely add some more content to this homepage. You would want um, originally written, authoritative, um, with keywords in there. You want it keyword rich, all of the things that you that you offer, you know, blind shades, curtains, you know, find a way to be uh, uh, the person that's writing your content to be talking about all these things. And and that's, as I said, how Google's going to go out there and crawl and be able to find you. Now, the next thing uh, that I'm going to talk about is backlinks. Uh, the other factor, there's, there, Google always sets out their same page, the, the, the front page the same way, the first page. They're going to have the ads at the top. They're going to have the map listing just below the ads. And then below that, we call this the organic section. So the businesses that are being listed here are listed prim primarily due to um, their content, their backlinks. Um, so I took the number one um, ranking site on the first page, because of course Home Depot is their own, and uh, this isn't a local business, and neither is this, and neither is this. So I took the first orga uh, organic ranking business to use as a comparison to what's going on behind the scenes. So a backlink is a link from a third party site coming into your site. The internet is like a big popularity contest. So um, when other sites vote for you, AKA give a link back to your site, that in turn moves your site up through the search engines. Now you can't just go out and get any link or you could, but it's not gonna be um, great for your ranking if it was a bunch of spammy links. Definitely quality over volume when it comes to backlinks, you want quality backlinks, not just a whole bunch of, of um, nasty ones. So in this case, I can see that you have three referring domains. So three websites on the internet are referring back to yours, giving you a link back to yours, providing you with 50 backlinks. You're being found for two words and your site just on its own, no paid ads, no, no nothing was found, had one visitor, had one traffic, organic traffic last month. Now I'm going to compare that to the one that's sitting in, in you know, the first on the first page there. You can see they just have a little stronger backlink profile. They've got 28 domains referring to them. They're being found for 44 words. They have a little bit more content and they have 36 visitors. So that's, that's, um, that's the difference of being on the first page and then being on the, um, I'm not too sure organically which page you're on, but you're obviously going to get more traffic to your website from being um, closer up. Now the third thing is citations. So what a citation is, is a place on the internet where you're going to find your business name, address, and phone number. 
So this map listing is an example of ICE citation. It has all three. Now, the content and the backlinks tend to push, push sites up in that section below in the organics. And here seems to be a big factor is how many, the number of citations, the number of places that your business is being cited. So Google's out, goes out and crawls, sees you all over the place, your name, address, phone number, name, address, phone number. And, and, and for that, they see you as being relevant and they will tend to push those sites with more citations up to the top. Being in, in one of the three is definitely going to bring in more business than being on page three of the map listings. So that's a great place to be. So I hope this information helps you to kind of understand how some sites are, are in the first page and some are on the 20 and, and give you um, those things. You can feel free to take these tips and go ahead and use them, add some content to your site. And if you had any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. I'm going to ship this email off to you and make sure that it does make it, make it to you. Thanks.